everyone. So I'm off my first day driving to Colorado. Got my little bear that's, I named him Manny. I got him at a Build-A-Bear. I made him after my dad died. And I gave him a birth certificate of my dad's birthday. <laughs> I got one for my niece too. Um, it was a tough morning saying goodbye to my sisters and my nieces and my nephew. Really, this is it. You know, I was waiting for this day. It feels like for a long time. I've been planning this move for almost two years. My dad died about two and a half years ago. So I was really discerning and contemplating moving across the country. Um, I thought about Arizona because I lived in Arizona. Uh, but it just gets too hot for too many months and I really love the outdoors. And then, of course, I've always loved Colorado. I lived there when I was 23, and now I'm moving back there 23 years later, in the year 2023. Um, I'm super excited. I've never been to Colorado Springs. Um, I'm moving there sight unseen. I have my apartment I'm about 10 minutes from Garden of the Gods, 15 minutes from Manitou Springs. I have a third floor end unit, so I'm very excited. I'm gonna have some mountain views. A balcony and yeah uh, this is just really I don't know it's 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 a big move like stepping out into the unknown I closed down my business my 14-year massage therapy practice I am going to be do, doing massage therapy when I'm out there um, but I'm also going to be coaching and uh, I'm so excited to embark on this new endeavor in my life and meet new people and explore new areas. When I lived in Colorado, I didn't get to explore that much of it because I was working, I was in massage school. Um, I did get to go to some places, but not nearly as many as I wanted to. And now I'm gonna get to go all through Colorado. I'm gonna go back to Utah. I wanna see Montana. I'd love to see the Dakotas, so. It's really exciting to be in this part of the country. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this uh, big step. But I don't know, I, I really feel that God is, is leading me on this. I feel that same kind of stirring in my soul as I did when I did missionary work. And I just really look forward to it. So I'm gonna continue doing my podcast. Uh, living with Integrity, Creating an Abundant Life. You can check that out on Spotify, Audible, um, Apple Podcasts, iHeart, YouTube. And yeah, I'm going to also, I think I'm going to start doing a YouTube channel where I'm going to explore some areas. Um, you know, it'd be good if you're ever thinking about moving somewhere. I, I don't know. It, I'll tell you the places that I'm going to. Yeah, anyways, I'm going to get back to driving. I just wanted to touch base with everyone and, and say I'm on the road. I, I really am going to enjoy this ride. I was going to do it in three days, but then I'm like, I don't have to rush. You know, it was like going to be 12 hours in one day and without stops. And I was like, why am I going to do that to myself? Four days, I'm going to do about seven to eight hours a day. I have nice hotels. Um, Know, to me it's really it's awesome I'm listening to podcasts and um, you know I don't know it's, it's my time to reflect and decompress and think about you know the next step in my life where it's going and all the new fun adventures I'm about to take on all right take care everyone